everyone welcome back this is sherry with full armor of god and today i have a message for you from the lord that has three scriptures to accompany it the first is the book of matthew chapter 3 verses 11 through 17 in the king james version bible it reads i indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that cometh after me is mightier than i whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee and comest thou to me and jesus answering said unto him suffer it to be so now for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness then he suffered him and jesus when he was baptized went up straightway out of the water and lo the heavens were opened unto him and he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and lighting upon him and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The second scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 21 through 27. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. The third and final scripture is the book of Mark, chapter 14, verses 31 through 38 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, But he spake the more vehemently, If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee in any wise. Likewise also said they all. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane, and he saith to his disciples, Sit ye here while I shall pray. And he taketh with him Peter and James and John, and began to be sore amazed and to be very heavy, and saith unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me, nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. And he cometh and findeth them sleeping, and saith unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldst not thou watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. Now for the message given from the Lord God on September the 4th, 2022. Many have fleeting thoughts of prayer and praying throughout their busy days. They say, please God, help me. I hear them and believe they are ready to hear me. Some are ready to come up unto me. Very soon, my beloved daughter, it will be time for the first fruits rapture. 
Some believe they are ready, and yet they still have sin in them. They have not repented, nor have they asked me for forgiveness. They are lukewarm Christians, believing it is good enough to worship me in church while their minds are far from me. They don't know me, nor do they even care to attempt to get to know me by reading my holy word, the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They hear their preachers and pastors mention key verses. Some learn them, but most only hear them spoken in passing as their minds wander off into worldly desires of the flesh. Time is later than you think, lukewarm believers. If you profess to know me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, then you would already know this my watchmen and prophets are doing their due diligence to prepare those who are lukewarm or still on the fence. Very soon I shall be in your presence. Will I say, job well done, good and faithful servant? Or will I say, depart from me, for I never knew thee? It's a sad state of affairs for me, for I love all of my sheep. This is a Garden of Gethsemane moment for me, for I know any moment now my Father will give the command to descend upon the earth. But I know all too well how, how many are not ready to receive me. Believe on me today, my beloved children. I am only taking those who have washed their clothes in the blood of the Lamb. I am who I say I am. It is written, I cannot tell a lie. So don't pretend to be devoted and think I don't know where your hearts are. You must love me wholeheartedly and ask to be forgiven of sins committed daily. Read my word. Know me personally as I do you. I want all of my sheep back into the fold. You can't say you weren't told by my watchmen and prophets. They care about you too. They are your brothers and sisters in me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am the only one who can set you free from this wretched existence. I want you here with me on New Jerusalem. However, I will not force you to obey me. You must willingly do this because you love me as much as I love you. Judgments are about to happen. They will be severe, for they will separate the wheat from the chaff, the sheep from the goats. It will happen suddenly without warning. One day everything will be as usual, and in the next there will be mourning. People will die, and some will not be ready. Oh, the anguish of it all! Exclamation point. I cannot bear the thought of the enemy stealing you away from me! Exclamation point. Wake up now, for the time is at hand. The last few grains of sand are dropping into the bottom portion of the hourglass. A great shaking is about to befall the land. And who will be left standing in the end? Be ready, for I come quickly, and my reward is with me. With undying love, Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Wow, what a mighty and powerful message from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I feel the Holy Spirit all over me right now. I feel like I want to burst into tears, but I have to hold it back. He is really reaching out to you in these final moments here. I'm not going to go through it all. Please, if you need to, rewind it and listen to it again. He's almost begging you to get to know him. He's in his Garden of Gethsemane, and he is experiencing all of the despair that he experienced before he was taken the first time and tortured and hung on a cross. Please, lukewarm believers, realize the days in which you are living. These are the final days. Get to know him. Lost believers, get to know him before these judgments fall. And may God bless you.